No, sir, we are free. That is why we are running a scam. Do you have any problem with that? Well, no, I just want an interview and you hung up on me, man. Come on. No, sir, I'm not going to hung up on you. You can talk to me. Okay. Oh, gr great. All right. So so how long you been doing this, man? From last three years. Uh, last three So how do you get into it, man? I'm always really curious. Is there job applications? Is it online? What, what, do, you, what do you do? No, sir, there is no job applications or something like that. So how do you get into it, man? Like, is there a call center or? Yes, sir, there is a call center. You are right. Okay. And do you just, like, go in and, like, hey, I want to do the scam or, like, how does it work? Right. Okay. All right. That's that's. So what do you what do you what? We, we are getting very and we are getting very high salaries as well. So what's what's your what's your scam? Do you be like, oh, I, you know, your your phone's broken. You got to give me iTunes gift cards. What is it? No, 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 no. The customer calls us and say that they have forgot the password or their phone has been broken and something like that. Wow. We and, never call the customers. Okay, and then so then do you ask for what do you ask for for payment? For Apple iTunes. Yeah, yeah, what do you ask for? Yeah, iTunes gift cards? Right. Man, do you ever feel bad, though? Like, some granny calls in, she's like, I forgot my password. No, sir, never, never, I never feel bad, never. So you just never, said, ever. do you have a heart, though? I have a heart. So yes. do, you, do you have, like, a family and everything? Like, you do, you're, like, a good, honest man? Or yes, like... I have family, and that is why I'm working in this company, because of my family. Man, though, but you're scamming other people. Don't you feel a little bit bad at all? No, sir. No, not at all? Not a little bit? Like... Oh, man, I don't know. I couldn't do that. You know, I'd feel guilty. You know what I mean? I'd be like, man, I'm I'm robbing good, honest people. You know. So let me ask you this. Do, I understand that, sir. Do, I can completely understand that. Uh, no, well, okay. Listen, let me ask you. How many prank calls do you get a day? Because I'm not trying to prank call you. I'm trying to get a legit. I'm trying to get legit get some answers. Sir, uh, in a day we uh, we get around ten to twelve call prank calls. So so how do you handle those? Do you swear at them? Do you just hang up? Like what what's your what's so your we, method? We, we just hang up the caller and we block the numbers. Oh you hang up the okay and then you block the okay. All right. Well so right. so okay, let run me through a basic call. So someone calls in, they say I forgot my password and then do you hack them? Do you how's it work? Sir, we never hack anyone. We never do something. We never hack someone. Okay. No. So you just so how's it work, man? Run me through it. I, I'm I'm very curious. <laughs> okay, like someone calls in and they say that they forgot their password and we simply said that do you need an Apple iTunes card so that we can reset the password? So they get the Apple iTunes card and we take the numbers from the back and that's how we do it. Okay, all right, and then yeah, of course, yeah, all right, that makes sense. So what do you do with the gift cards, though? Okay, do you and, like? And we, we we never never hack someone. Never. No, no. But do you put it into games and then, like, sell the accounts? Or, like, how's that work? No, sir. We can go ahead and we can convert it into cash. You? Oh, okay. So do you do that with, like, a gift card company? Or, like... No, sir. We can go ahead and we can block the cards. Oh, my goodness. Okay. I didn't even... See, I don't know how this works. I'm so clueless. But I get these calls sometimes, and I'm like, I, I wonder what they do with these gift cards. Sir, but we, we never call the customers. Might be there are some another company who call the customers. No, no, but you... Uh, got the calls from the customers over here. No, you get the call, but you still do the scam, of course. Right. So how many people do you work with, roughly, if you had to guesstimate? Uh, in my company, there are around 80 to 90 people who are working over here. Man, so is it just like a building they rent out, or like, what is it? <laughs> you can say that, sir, it's a building. Oh my goodness, man. See, I don't know anything about this, man. You, you've answered some really important questions. You're, you're, you're actually, you know, you're good for doing the interview, but you're kind of a scumbag for scamming people. It's kind of a, it's kind of an up and down for me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, well, you're the, I gotta say though, seriously, man, all jokes, but I'll let you go and continue the scam, but you're the first guy not to swear at me and, and say something about my mom. So thank you for that. Sir, it's really lovely talking to you. <laughs> well, thank you. Uh, thank you. Thank you. But it, it's not, I can't say the same, but you know what, man? You, I'm, I'm, I'm going to let you go. Thank you for doing an interview for my, for my little podcast. I, I appreciate you, man. <laughs> okay, sir, not a problem. I know that might be you're going to put a video on a YouTube or something like that, but that's not a problem. No, no, no. Okay, well, hey, if I have your consent, that's great. Then uh, it's it's not YouTube, but uh, I, I'm 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 doing a podcast. But yeah, man, th thanks for thanks for your time. No, not a problem, sir. All right, bye. Okay, bye bye. Have a nice day. All right, I love you.